Hey, so today we have a $82 complete custom loop I'm going to review. So there's two blocks, two fans, and a radiator, reservoir, pump. There's pretty much everything you need to do a full custom loop. Uh, it doesn't come with thermal paste, but it comes with everything else. So first off, we have the radiator. This is a 240 millimeter radiator. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. It's about 25, 30 millimeters thick, somewhere around there. Um, there is barbed fittings <laughs> welded onto the, the radiator. So you can't take the fittings off. And if they break, you're pretty much out a radiator. Um, then we have, of course, two fans. These are like Chinese fans. <clears throat> I've ordered these before. Um, these particular ones say deep cool on them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not deep cool fans. Um, I've ordered these before. They're just cheap Chinese LED fans. Um, of course, you have the the reservoir here. One one in, two outs, or two outs, two ins, two one out. Um, however, you want to set it up. Um, it does come with a little <coughs> spout. I don't know if the camera will pick that up too well. It's a little spout, so when the water comes in, it doesn't make extra bubbles. So that's kind of cool. Um, then we have the GPU block. Um, it's just a small GPU block, nothing too fancy. Acrylic top, copper base. There are fins in it, and uh, yeah. Uh, and then we have the CPU block. And this particular one is really big. The mounting is like built into the block. <clears throat> and it looks like it has AM3, AM4, 2050, 1150, 2011 socket. So it'll fit pretty much anything. <clears throat> so it's universal. Uh, again, with acrylic top. And we have some holders for the reservoir here. So that's cool. And uh, this, this kit does come with just barbed fittings. So all these fittings are barbed. Um, G1 quarter thread, barbed fittings, it comes with tubing, uh, just clear plastic, like aquarium tubing basically. And then of course it comes with hose clamps for that tubing. Um, then we have the pump, again acrylic top, and uh, yeah. So the pump, I first put, like thought it was like this way uh, in, it's actually the top is in, right here. Um, so yeah, you just pay attention to that if you're going to get this kit. You can't mount it like this, like that. You have to mount it like that. So there's no markings for in or out or any indication of where, which one is which. So just be careful of that. Now this is a whole kit, but it's a Chinese kit. There's no manufacturer labels. I mean, the fans do say deep cool, but they're not deep cool fans. So, mm. um, but there's no manufacturing labels. There's no slip inside for warranty. There's nobody to call. Nothing is guaranteed. And because these are copper and the, the radiator is aluminum, at least I'm about 99% sure it's aluminum. I don't know what the fittings are made out of. They're just this chrome looking metal. I'm not really sure what they are. But because they're all different metals, you're gonna have galvanic corrosion uh, to deal with. So if you do end up getting this kit, just get some of uh, uh, that. Uh, it's a little additive you can put in the water to stop galvanic corrosion, or at least slow it way, way, way down. Um, I didn't do that for this review just because it's not gonna be in there long enough. So we're gonna put all this together uh, we're going to be mounting it at only the CPU block, so we're only going to test the CPU uh, because I figured that if you were buying a kit like this, you have a CPU and GPU, you're not really going to get a lot of benefit from it if you put both on there, especially if you want to overclock. So we're going to just be putting all this together, mounting it on a E5-1650, which is a Xeon 6-core Sandy Bridge E CPU. Uh, stock settings and overclock settings. Um, it's going to get real hot, uh, overclocked. So we're going to test what this is capable of, and we're going to be comparing it to this. This is a EK setup here with a Supremacy Evo block. Again, a 240 mil rad Vardar fans. 
the extended range Vardar fans and you know pump and so this is like a $350 setup versus the $80 setup so we're going to be testing that on the same CPU we're going to be moving the fans over for the Vardar fans uh, because these fans here are pretty questionable so we're going to be testing that as well back and benchmarks are done some different things happened all right so I was originally going to use the Molex connectors to test these fans because these have Molex and 3 pin so I realized about a half a second later after I plugged them in that you know they're gonna be going 100% and that's not really fair to the Vardar fans because the Vardars are four pins and even though they're extended range and they're really high speed it's not really a fair thing. So we tested, I tested with the Molex connector and the three pin on these not deep cool, deep cool fans. And so we have that data. Um, I also swapped the Vardar fans onto this system here, this $82 system, and we also have that data. So how did it do? It did better than I would expect the $82 air cooler to do. Um, that's for sure. I mean, it is a water cooling system. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. I mean, it's Chinese manufactured, so you have no warranty, no one to complain to if something breaks. And the radiator is pre pretty cheap. It's aluminum. It does the job. Um, could be better. I mean, evidenced by the test results from this. But again, this is $350. So this is 82. 350, 82. So. You know, for $82, it's a really good buy. You need a cheap water cooling system, probably better than an all-in-one, um, a 240 millimeter all-in-one. I did test this against a 360 millimeter Corsair all-in-one, and of course the 360 beat this, uh, but then again, it also beat this one. Um, also, the, the pump in this setup is pretty loud um, because there's no, it's just Molex, there's no PWM, there's no duty cycle control. So it's 100% all the time. So, you know, it's gonna be loud. Uh, it's, it has a lot of motor sound. Um, the fans on here using Molex have a lot of fan noise. So you have a lot of fan noise, a lot of motor sound, water pouring in, unless you fill it up. So it's kind of loud. This one is much, much, much quieter almost to the point you can't hear it even on an open test bench um <clears throat> so yeah there's good things and bad things it's 82 dollars it's pretty much bare bones absolute minimum water cooling system it will cool down your cpu um it will do good job of that it's not going to do as good job as say this one or a bigger radiator but it's perfectly fine system um what i would do if you do get this go out throw these fans away go out and get some like Corsair uh, SP 120s or if you can get them cheap or get some better quality fans just and they don't even have to be radiator fans they could just be airflow fans but nicer fans so like 10 15 dollar fans and that'll make this a lot better unfortunately the pump Pumps, water pumps for water cooling is pretty expensive, so you can't, I mean, I don't think it's really worth it to go get a pump, because you've spent money on the kit, now you've bought some fans, now you're going to go out to get a pump, I mean, it, you're getting pretty close to this kind of territory here, so, because that's already like 250-ish, maybe, maybe you can get a pump for cheap, it'd be less money, but, the only major concern I would have is longevity. If you keep the unit as is, the pump is working 100% all the time. So that's going to reduce your longevity. Though you're mixing metals, so even if you put anti-corrosive um, anti galvanic uh, solutions into the water, it's still going to happen. It's just going to happen a lot slower. The fans, they're cheap fans, they could probably go out anytime. They might last a year, a year or two, maybe. 
I mean, you don't really know, right? So there's a big reliability issue with this. If, if you're just looking to get into water cooling, it's a good system. It's a, it's a, a there's nothing really wrong with it. It, it pumps water through the, the block and through the radiator and wind fans blow on the radiator and it does its job. Now would I buy this over this? Depends if you have the money. If you have the money, go out and buy this one. This is pretty much better in all regards. Um, it's quieter, it's cooler, it, it's pretty much better everywhere. But if you don't have the money, you really want to get into water cooling, you're building a system, you want to get into water cooling, or you want a really cheap water cooling setup, go ahead and buy this one. This one here, it's $82. It's less than 100 bucks. It'll get the job done.